the Carolina Reaper, the world's hottest pepper. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to grow a Carolina Reaper plant from seed using the paper towel method. These seeds came from bemorespicy.com and I'm not affiliated with or nor am I promoting this person. But uh, I did have a problem. They came in the mail. The seeds were crushed, but thank goodness we were able to get it worked out and he sent me some more gladly. So I recommend this seller. Here are the seeds I just got. They just came in the mail. I'm going to open these up, see how they look, make sure they didn't get crushed. This is the second time and he told me that he would just resend them and it would be a problem. And looky there, these seeds look great. They're not crushed, not a single one. Just happened to be, um, it happens. So we're going to try these out. What we're going to do is put these in some water and go from there. Look at those. They look great, don't they? Not a cracked seed. Not a one. All right, so what we're going to do is put this in a bowl. And uh, we want to first sterilize them because when you pull them off the peppers, sometimes they still have some of the flesh from the plant. And so we're going to spray some hydrogen peroxide on here. That's what this is. And we just want to get these sterilized. It won't hurt the seeds any, but it will give them a good cleaning. Sorry for the background noise. I'm outdoors right now. Okay, look at that. You can see them bubbling up. Kind of like there's an infection, right? If you were to put it on a, a little boo-boo. But these are some dirty seeds. Now we let them soak for about, I don't know, probably about a minute. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drain some of this off. Whoops, lost my seeds. Okay, let's uh, try something else here. Let's um, pour it on this napkin. I just want to get these seeds dried off and then we're going to put it in water and let them soak in water. Get on there. Now the next process I'm going to skip but basically we're just going to moist a paper towel and we're going to put the seeds on that and we're going to uh, fold it in half and then stick it in a Ziploc bag to hold in the moisture. But we don't want the paper towels to be soaked not soaking wet. We just want it to be damp, just enough for the seeds to not dry out, but wet enough to where the seeds can soak up moisture from the paper towel. And we're going to let it set in there for about a week to two weeks. All right, so now I got my fresh water. We're just going to, uh, we're going to put these seeds back in here and get them rinsed off. Uh, we want to make sure that it's not still soaking in hydrogen peroxide when we try to germinate these. So it's really important to rinse these off. Now, while we're waiting for these to soak, two weeks is going to go by. And I'm wanting to talk to you about a little bit about the seed and what's going on inside the seed and what we're looking for and when we want to take these out. Okay, so now we got these all good and soaked. Now they're going to go in a paper towel and into the Ziploc bag. And they're going to sit there for two weeks. But while they're sitting, we're going to keep checking on them. Probably, I don't know, I like to check on mine every six hours because I like to be there right when the seed starts to hatch. Now we're going to look at this diagram real quick and talk about the what makes up the seed. So we've got the, uh, um, what we're looking for is the radical or what some may refer to as the tap root. If you look at figure five up at the top, you can see that the radical has started to push through the seed. Now we want to get it at the smallest, earliest possible when it just starts to crack out of the seed. And you'll usually see it come out of an opening in the seed, which is the outer testa, and the inner testa will proceed to push out from the outer testa. Now, how do you know what it looks like? It has a little opal, uh, oval, opening um, kind of diamond shaped and that's where the root is going to come out at now if we look down at the um, 
lower diagram, which can't see it all the way, but um, it's a, a further breakdown of the seed. Now, when the when the outer when the radical starts to pop out, I like to get it just as soon as it starts to pop out, and that's why I like to check my seeds every six hours. So that way I know I'm right there, right when the seed starts to pop. I usually put it into my growing medium immediately after I see the radical or the taproot start to emerge from the seed. And you'll want to take great, great care in handling the seeds when anything starts to grow out of the seed because it is extremely, I cannot stress this enough, it is super delicate. It will break at the slightest pressure. So take really good care not to break this taproot or this radical that is emerging from the seed. It has to be handled in extreme care. Now you can see here, this is from the seeds that um, just started. This is when I like to take them and put them right into the growing medium. Now I don't have the growing medium right at hand, so now I'm going to put it in this uh, water just for holding. And you can see it's grown in six hours. Now I've got my now I've got my growing medium now. I had to go out and get some. I uh, thought I had some, but I didn't. So know what I'm using here is rock wool. And I usually, uh, if it has a deep hole in it, I usually put a little bit of rock wool in it to bring up the surface a little bit so it doesn't plant too deeply. I like to put it down in a quarter inch and then uh, put some more rock wool over the top. Of course, you'll want to wet the rock wool a little bit before you uh, put in the seed. Okay, now it's about two weeks later, and these have uh, emerged up out of the rock wool and look pretty good. Now, here's one, uh, one of my Carolina Reapers, um, and that's also a Carolina Reaper. And this one just emerged probably about a day now, first day it came out, and... Um, it took about a, a week for after I put the seed in before it germinated. So these are all looking really good and strong now. And I'm going to keep these under a light. I give them a real light fertilizer. Um, I use uh, miracle Grow liquid fertilizer. Now, this is about two and a half weeks in on that big one. But anyway, they're all looking really good. Now, I, I'm going to do a follow-up video later on. So be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video so far. And this is just my method on the paper towel seed method. And um, I wish you good luck and happy growing.